The Royal Enfield brand is one of survival, of endurance and adaptation over the last century. In today's fast-paced world, Royal Enfield's simple and unhurried take on motorcycling is quietly setting the tone for things to come. Royal Enfield motorcycles started life back in 1901, when the first one was built in Redditch, England. By the 1920s, the range and reputation had expanded to include sports models, V-twin machines and even an open-framed ladies' motorcycle. This decade also marked Royal Enfield's racing heyday, with significant successes at the famed Brooklyn Circuit and the Isle of Man TT. In 1932, the first bullet was created. It was the birth of something special. This motorcycle quickly became a testament to endurance and versatility. In fact, it was a motorcycle that typified Royal Enfield's culture and the machine that we still see on our streets today. As World War II broke out, Royal Enfield's focus changed to supporting the war effort. They built a secret factory in southern England, producing the Flying Flea, a 125 that was light enough to parachute into enemy territory. Post-war, the bullet became Royal Enfield's priority, with a new prototype launched in 1948. The British International Six-Day Trial Team, led by Johnny Britton, took a gamble on this untested motorcycle, and it paid off with victory at the trial event in Italy. Unsurprisingly, this impressive new bullet sped into full production shortly after. In 1953, when the Indian Army wanted motorcycles for their work, there was only one choice. Madras Motors bought 750 bullets, proven champions of the very harshest environments. Two years later, Madras Motors had a license to manufacture the bullet. Enfield India Limited was established. The 1960s saw the birth of the 750cc Interceptor, as well as the landmark Continental GT Cafe Racer. The GT was a response to changing attitudes in motorcycle culture. Royal Enfield created something new for the growing number of young men now taking to the roads on two wheels. By the late 70s, the newly formed classic motorcycle movement in the UK was demanding Royal Enfields. This meant the Indian-made motorcycles were imported back to the British market. The 1990s were a decade of change and reappraisal. With the India-owned Aisha Group's acquisition of the legendary brand came new models, new engines and new attitudes. In 1997, Royal Enfield's Himalayan Odyssey was born. 40 Royal Enfield motorcycles toured the world's highest motorable pass, setting a precedent for spectacular journeys in some of the world's most difficult and varied terrains. During the first decade of the new century, an international tourist industry developed around these timeless machines. Tour organizers set themselves up to take groups into the Himalayas, across the Rajasthan desert and into the backwaters of Kerala. This meant riding a Royal Enfield in India became a must do for many motorcycling enthusiasts. In 2005, the Indian factory celebrated 50 years of production, another testament to Royal Enfield's endurance. In November 2009, Royal Enfield launched the Classic with a new unit construction engine which became an instant hit across the world. This quickly became the most important catalyst in propelling the next phase of growth for Royal Enfield. November the 24th, 2011 marked the beginning of a new chapter and the development of the company's second factory, a new state-of-the-art facility in Oragadam on the outskirts of Chennai. Through innovation and automation, the plant can produce one motorcycle a minute. But human craftsmanship has not been forgotten. With processes including the legendary pinstriping, Enfield retains the handcrafted detailing synonymous with the brand. In September 2013, the Continental GT became a part of the product family. Looking to its past, Royal Enfield created a beautiful modern classic for the future. The Continental GT is a reflection of Royal Enfield's ambition to become a global leader in the mid-sized motorcycle market. Towards this, Royal Enfield has in the recent years expanded its footprint across nodal cities such as London, Jakarta, Paris, Madrid, Dubai, Bogota and many more with exclusive brand stores, while establishing a wholly owned subsidiary presence in strategic markets like North America. In addition, to enhance its product capabilities, Royal Enfield is setting up two new technology centres, one in Chennai in India and another in Leicester in the UK. To meet the demands of this new but rapidly growing segment, the brand has made a conscious decision to increase production by approving the development of a third plant in Valum Vadagal in Tamil Nadu, India, which will increase the total annual production capacity to 900,000 motorcycles by 2018. In 2016, 
by taking all the collective experience and learnings of decades of riding in the Himalayas, Royal Enfield has created a motorcycle that can traverse the terrain the way it's meant to be. Purpose-built for all roads and no roads, the Himalayan has not been designed to dominate its awe-inspiring environment, but to flow in perfect harmony with it. The Himalayan is the start of a new and important chapter for Royal Enfield that brings to life a purer form of adventure motorcycling with this simple, capable, go-anywhere motorcycle. <laughs>